Hi everybody, this is Mohamed Hamid. In our session, I will explain how we can use the sewer dams to design domestic networks in camps. Next step is to add domestic loads and big factors. This project will assume because it is camp, everybody take 50 liters for drinking water and we take 80% of drinking water for the waste water. And see, actually, we, we're dealing with two values. If we work in the city, we will assume uh, everybody will receive 200 uh, liters per day for the drinking water, which means 80% from them will be uh, flow to the as waste water, which means it's 160 liters per day for each person. In this camp, we provide them every day 50 liters, so every person will uh, produce 40 liters every day with water. If we go to the component, and here we can start from unit sanitary, identify our loads. First, again, we can start from scratch, depending on area or count or discharge or population, we will take the population, or we can port it from the library. For example, if we have airport, if we have um, club uh, or uh, there are different hospital actually office uh, or we can make our own for example the population i will make it domestic and as i mentioned is 400 liter for each person now i will close what else in our project okay we have we have mosque uh, and also we have uh, school and we have health center because actually we work in the camps so we will uh, suppose again i will return to loading to sanitary and now i will add population area i will name it mosque and see that we take it uh, 50 liters for each person and now i will add for the schools forty liters and again we have for the health center I will support it 50 liters for each person per day now I will close another thing before now I identify uh, my units but uh, I don't assign it to the manhole if we have to identify the extreme lows which mean the big factor for my projects uh, in Syrian we, we use for the big factor uh, this equation kj max and kj my to calculate the maximum flow and minimum flow this is our equation in syria and now i return actually we can uh, import it from library actually i think there are eight uh, types there are the babit and the hormones which are uh, using in egyptian standard uh, fedrofs there are actually all textbooks in syria they use it uh, and uh, there are uh, this is formula actually we can know its equation and for example this is table uh, and this is 10 state equation. This is um, the R standard in American, the call it 10 state equation. So this is standard. We will not import it from library. We can take it uh, equation uh, population factors. Uh, and now we will uh, add uh, for this uh, coefficient uh, to make it match our equation. So this is one. So this is one for the C1. And this will be C2 will be. 2.5 uh, C3 will be uh, 0 and A1 will be 1 no problem A2 will be 0 0.22 and M1 will be state 0 and now M2 will be 1 now we have this equation okay for this uh, equation if this uh, becomes uh, more small this mean the kj max will be 3.5 the maximum 1 plus 2.5 so this is cut off value 3.5 the maximum value now i will name it here kj max now i will close it and I, now i will the next step is 74 i will say new now we open my unit load and we will check all and now for the domestic we which uh, provide them with kj max but for the mosque and school and health center uh, this depending on the how much uh, our 
war for the mosque will work every day eight hours uh, then the factor will be 24 hours divide uh, eight which mean three for the school we will suppose six hours every day so uh, 24 uh, divide uh, six would mean four and uh, for the health center it will work uh, 12 hours every day so this will be 42 divide 12 would mean 2 I can close it and I have to now add or assign the uh, unit load domestic unit load to the manhole 